Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm glad, and uh, uh, I speak about uh, uh, him. So he born uh, February 11, 1847, in the Iowa, US, and uh, yeah, he was uh, died October 18th, 1931. I think he survived almost 84 years. So in this 84 years, he did a lot of uh, things. So we can't imagine. So yeah. Um, now he was an American inventor and businessman. He developed many devices in fields of such as electric power generation, mass communication, and sound recording and motion. So also uh, he combined and singly held a world record of 1093 patents. Really, we can't imagine. In addition, he created the world first industrial research laboratory. He did so much. So yeah, here we noted very few, very important point only. Yeah, next we will go with uh, our uh, industrial automation. Yeah, industrial automation is a, this is some uh, like introduction, uh, what is industrial automation? So if any questions, just to raise your hand and uh, yeah, we can discuss at any point of time. So industrial automation is sir, 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 no, sir, sorry for the can you turn on the camera for something? So yeah. Yes, thank you. Sorry. Yeah, this is industrial automation is a process of operating machines and other industrial equipment with the help of digital logical programming. Uh, it will reduce our human intervention in decision making and manual command process with the help of uh, mechanized equipment. Okay, this is a uh, theoretical. So further, we will see some examples. So in that, so we can, uh, uh, yeah, we can understand uh, what is the meaning of these words. An industrial production process consists of series of machines through which a combination of raw materials goes through and uh, transform into the final product. Here, the term machine can be anything like a motor, drilling, conveyor belt, etc., which come under electromechanical devices or chemical machines like ovens, dryers, chemical combustion systems, etc. Yeah, this is the uh, automation, industrial automation plant, uh, uh, plant view. So, this is uh, just for an idea. So, here we can see a lot of automation. Uh, machines controlling the electromechanical devices. So this is a kind of a CNC, this is conveyors, and this is the conveyor controlled motors, and this is the overhead conveyors. So this is uh, used to move the materials from one end to other end. Yeah, this is uh, just we are showing only one uh, conveyor. So this is a part of uh, previous picture yeah um, before I move to in deep so just uh, I will uh, I like to explain uh, what is what is the process we are doing in the automation okay so yeah first thing we are getting uh, feedback and inputs from the sensors so from sensors we are giving uh, the data to the computer or PLC. So PLC uh, contain the programs of instructions. So based on that, we are uh, activating the output devices. That is called actuators. So then process will be will be happening. So this is the simple uh, uh, yeah simple flow diagram of our automation system. Yeah, anyone uh, know about uh, automation? So anyone have an idea? So what is automation? Can you share? Whatever. So whatever you know, so you can share it. So end of the system, I have some idea. Sir, automating the machines without uh without the mechanical uh, use uh, use of uh, humans 
Yeah, exactly. Yes. Any other comments? Daily we are uh, looking at automation. So we are going even in, uh, in home. So whenever we are going outside, so wherever we are, we are going, so we are seeing the automation. Any simple thing. Even our uh, washing machine daily, we are using uh, used things. That is also automation. So when you are going outside, traffic lights, that is also automation. Any comments? And students, you can unmute and answer, or even you can type it in the chat box. Okay, I think uh, we'll move forward, I guess. Uh, yeah, end of the, uh, just please note down what are the questions you have, and. Uh, uh, what are the doubt? Uh, because uh, we can't uh, uh, get this opportunity again. So please use this opportunity. So yeah, our college and uh, yeah, everyone arranged this one. So uh, we, uh, I think as a student, we can't uh, 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 realize this value of uh, this one. So whenever we are going outside, so no one will uh, help and uh, no one ready to give a hand. So now we are ready to give. Yeah, please use this opportunity. Thank you. Yeah, this is the automation uh, typical applications uh, we are using. So one is uh, labeling machine and the pillow type uh, packaging machine and uh, woodworking machinery. So in these all machineries, we are using sensors, output devices like such as uh, motors and. Um, what else means it may be a heavy duty or a stepper motor or a servo motors, drives, and a lot of things we are using uh, to automate this process. And we are controlling the electromechanical devices also. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, yeah anybody know uh, what are the, these devices? Any idea? Very simple things. So this is for an example only. So while you start interacting, so it, I think it is more interesting to discuss. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Let me continue. Uh, this one. So uh, these are all uh, sensors, uh, like all our uh, different kind of uh, temperature uh, uh, detection sensors, like LM35 and RTD, and the thermocouples are there. So here you can see, uh, yeah, while well, giving force, so it will measure. So what is the force applied on that uh, material? So this is the my bio sensors. Hello, sir. Salman, sir. Uh, dear students, please wait a minute.
so he will join within 2 minutes sir he facing some internet issue okay sir okay sir
Hi everyone. Uh, able to hear me? Sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry, Thanks for your presence and uh, yeah, sorry for the uh, inconvenience. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir, we can. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir, we can able to see. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, here we can see a lot of uh, sensors. So it is uh, used to measure uh, temperatures. So yeah, students, uh, do you have any idea what are the uh, sensors here? Can you please uh, share your thoughts? Yeah. Okay. Motion sensor. Temperature sensor. Okay. That's good. And additionally, we have a, a, a force detection sensors and bio sensors also there. Uh, yeah, this is uh, just for an idea. So, what are the inputs we are going to give to the PLC? So, that's it. So, there is a lot of input devices. So, this is just for an example and uh, idea. Yeah, here you can see um, it's an electronic nose. So, this is for a symbol of uh, automation. So, because we have the sensors to detect uh, uh, these uh, smoke, smoke detections. So in the bottom one um, is the uh, world we are using. So nowadays we are using it is like a chip. So these are also called as uh, smoke directors. So these are all input devices for uh, automation. Yeah, here you can see uh, LNW machineries. So these machineries, these machineries also we are uh, uh, manufacturing in Coimbatore itself, and. Uh, yeah, uh, it is running all over uh, the world. Uh, this is uh, textile industries. Yeah, here some of the uh, pictures I added here. So just to, uh, when you are going to implant training or somewhere, uh, when you are going industry to visit, just you, you have to know. So why, uh, where we have to focus and uh, what are the devices connected. So just very few pictures I attached it here. So this is for limit switches. So limit switches is used for uh, for example, the safety purposes, if the door is open, we have to switch off the machine. Yeah, this is very small application, so limit switches are there. So this is, uh, second picture is um, proximity sensor. It is used to sense uh, speed of the machine and uh, yeah, if any uh, movement, it will, it will act as a motion sensor also. Yeah, this is a kind of a speed detect detecting machine. So you can see uh, uh, proximity sensor here. So each and every uh, bolt is there, no? So each and every bolt sends the pulses. So it counts uh, number of pulses with the time. So uh, based on that, it will calculate the RPM of that uh, uh, machine. So it called as uh, flats movement sensor. So it is called as a delivery speed sensor. The same, uh, it is also used to uh, count the number of pulses. So it used to calculate the RPM. Yeah, the, we are using proximity sensor. Depends on applications, uh, it will be varied. Yeah, here also the motion sensor connected to uh, so the gear wheel movement. Yeah, here it is called the position sensor. So, so whenever the machine is uh, running, so we have to uh, keep the machine in the initial position during stopping. So for that purpose, we are using the position sensor. Yeah, here are some of the uh, outputs. So that is actuators. So very few examples here. So DC motors, sorry, DC motor, stepper motor, and this one is servo motors. This is a small uh, stepper motor, and this is BLDC motor. 
So this is very, uh, this is used for very small applications like uh, paper cup. So wherever the load is lesser. So we are using like a thousand HP motors like that. Likewise, uh, to control the uh, automation electromechanical devices. Yeah, here you can see uh, pneumatic actuators. So uh, here, so this is linear motion control. And uh, yeah, uh, one-way actuator and two-way actuator are uh, uh, pneumatic uh, also there. So this is for uh, just for an idea. Yeah, we have multiple brands in uh, uh, PLCs in the market. So here are some of the examples, uh, uh, Siemens, Alan Bradley, uh, that is called AB, uh, ABB, Farnook, GE, Honeywell, Mitsubishi, Snyder, Hitachi, Toshiba, and uh, yeah, Delta, Omron. There's a lot of PLCs are there in the field. Yeah, here, here you can see uh, the very uh, basic uh, PLC. I think uh, it is called as second generation. First generation called as we can't uh, connect uh, any IOs in the rack. So this is like a second generation. So we can connect very uh, minimum number of IOs in this PLC. So it has a lot of features like uh, here you can see a uh, nine pin uh, board. It is used to communicate with the devices or we can uh, import or export the program from this board. Yeah, nowadays uh, almost we are using ethernet port. So this is very older PLC. So here it is, uh, uh, COM port is there, serial connection is there. Yeah, we have uh, eProm also. So we can connect ePro uh, here. So it is used to uh, back up the program. So here uh, I shown a very simple uh, 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 connection diagram here. So here uh, didn't show sensors. So sensors are connected in the input side and the output side we are going to uh, communicate with the uh, uh, motors through drives and the starters. Okay, so so here you can see uh, the line. This is called uh, actually which protocol we are going to use. So drives, some of the drives used as a Modbus protocol and uses protocol. Uh, there is a lot of protocols are there. Ethernet IP protocol. So protocol means um, yeah, every human knows knows uh, uh, every language. So in Tamil Nadu, so. We, we are more about familiar with uh, Tamil and we are going to Karnataka, so we have to speak with Kannada. Likewise, each and every mission have their own language. So we have to speak uh, in that uh, language, then only they know uh, how to activate it. So mostly uh, tribes are uh, uh, designed with the USS and the Modbus protocol and Ethernet IP protocols. Yeah, here some of the PLCs I have showed. Uh, yeah, this is Keda, and uh, this is the HMIs. And uh, yeah, this is the basic PLC. We have very limited IOs. So this is, uh, we have a lot of IOs. This is middle range of uh, PLCs. Okay. Um, yeah, here also I have shown uh, some of the PLC examples. So this is in uh, ABB. So we can see this is final, uh, this is the basic model. And this is these are the mid-range models, and this is the high-end models. So uh, here I can we get, we can see uh, only PLCs. So from this PLC we can communicate a lot of uh, uh, distributed IOs also. For example, uh, uh, PLC is connected. PLC panel is uh, uh, mounted here, but after uh, 200 meters or 300 500 meters, have uh, uh, some of the IOs there. So from the, here PLC we are connecting IOs. Uh, through communication to control those devices. So that is called distributed IOs. Yeah, here, uh, yeah, here the back traces, uh, you can see, right? So from back traces only, so the PLC get power. So here Ethernet ports are there. So it is used to communicate with uh, remote devices and PC. And this is a lot of characters you can see. 
So this is we are connecting the input and output devices. Yeah, here uh, you can see. Uh, actually, here, here uh, serial connection port is there, and Ethernet connection port also there. So it is useful to connect uh, remote IOs and uh, uh, PCs to download and upload the programs. Yeah, here you can see a lot of connectors to connect the IOs. So here are the indications are there. So all uh, each and every input have its own uh, LED indication. And uh, there is a lot of uh, power indication and fault indication LED is also there. So this is uh, HMI. So we are these are we have to program it. So we have to pick the uh, images and we have to give animate. Uh, if the uh, you know for example in the tank uh, water is filling, we have to show the animation. Uh, the water is rising. In the tank, and we can control. We can start and stop manually from the HMI. Yeah, here some of the industrial uh, examples are there. So uh, we are using automation in water purification plant, oil and gas industry. Uh, yeah, the lot of industries, but the importance will be varied depends on industries. For example, in the oil and gas industry. Safety is the most important. Uh, yeah, for example, in that uh, actually in PLC they are uh, supplying safety PLCs also. Uh, it's like if one uh, input is failure, other input will be taken within a microsecond. So, for example, uh, uh, if tank is full, okay, but the sensor got uh, failed or uh, that input got failed, other input will uh, give the feedback of level. So immediately we have we have to act and we have to stop the motor. So that safety is very important in the oil and gas industry. So those measures will be taken care by the automation uh, devices. So we have a lot of like pharmaceutical that is also safety is very important. So because uh, we are using a lot of uh, chemicals in that. So packaging and material handling. I think uh, compared to pharmaceutical, the safety is lesser, but production wise. Um, it's very much important uh, for material handling and volume, sorry, in the fabrication, uh, machining, all the things, the production is very important. So the PLCs are acting uh, in nanosecond uh, timings. So nowadays uh, the nanosecond PLCs are also available in the market, but it varies, uh, yeah, price difference is there anyway. So food and beverages processing and planning and decision making, yeah, everything uh, done by automation. Yeah. yeah, just I will play some uh, uh, automation industry video. So for your idea, just a second. You able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Industrial automation is a set of technologies that uses control systems and devices, such as computer software and robotics, to enable automatic operation of industrial processes and machinery without the need for human operators. Industries implement automation to increase productivity, eliminate the possibility of human error, reduce costs, save time, and achieve higher performances. A wide range of tools are required for industrial automation. They include various control systems that incorporate different devices and systems impacting aspects of the manufacturing process. These automation devices include PLCs, HMIs, SCADA, robotics, and more. A programmable logic controller, or PLC, is a rugged industrial computer designed for the control of manufacturing processes. PLCs can work as standalone units that can continuously monitor and automate a process or specific machine function. PLCs can be networked. Such a network can control an entire production line. PLCs are used in industrial automation to increase reliability, system stability, and performance, minimizing the need for human operators and the chances of human error. An HMI is a software application that enables interaction and communication between a human operator and the machine or production system. It translates complex data into accessible information, enabling... Yeah, operator can, uh, um, yeah, can operate them, uh, outputs uh, through HMI, HMI itself by manual uh, Operation. Better control Better of the control production, production process, process and its and various operations. SCADA systems control and monitor industrial processes. The system acquires and Wires processes, processes real-time real -time data, data through data direct, direct interaction with the devices, such as sensors and PLCs, and records, and records events, and records events into a log file. SCADA is important for data analysis and enables effective decision-making for optimization in industrial processes. Robots can efficiently perform tasks in complicated or dangerous situations, improve production flow and quality, and increase safety for employees. Automation of factories, manufacturing, and processing plants can improve production rates. It helps improve mass production by drastically reducing assembly time per product and improving the quality of production. Therefore, you will typically see a good return on investment in terms of the resulting output. Stay tuned to Galco TV for more tech tips. And be sure to visit galco.com to view our full Uh, yeah, here we can see uh, the real work, uh, what has happened in the uh, doing automation. So uh, this is very important. So wherever we go, so this is the process. So it may be a different kind. So it may be a slightly changed, but this is the uh, important process that we are doing uh, PLC or scanner program. So first I will uh, explain about what are the inputs we are getting from, uh, uh, from the industries or from clients or somewhere. So first of all, uh, PNID drawings, it is called as uh, piping and instrumentation diagram. So it modifies. So actually this is the PNID drawings. So here um, we, can, we can see the whole process. So the pipelines are connected to where and uh, where the devices are connected and where the instruments are uh, uh, connected. 
and what is the uh, inputs and outputs are for that particular uh, sensors or output devices. So for example, if the valve is connected, so for the valve, uh, we have a feedback or not. So we can understand from the PMDs, right? So uh, yeah, the next is uh, electrical IO list. So in the IO list, so um, yeah, we have a two, uh, yeah, two, uh, two things we can understand from uh, IO, uh, electrical device. So one is network architecture, for example, uh, uh, here you can see, I think everyone can uh, see that. So here the PLC is there. So the PLC, the network is connected to the hub and uh, other connections are going to the HMI and these are now the remote IOs. So remote IOs uh, are maybe one kilometer away or two kilometers away or sometimes five kilometers away. So using fiber optic, we, are, we can communicate the IOs from the uh, PLC uh, from the remote. Uh, locations okay so this is the network architecture drawing from the electrical uh, team also uh, we are getting the IO list for example uh, each and every instrument have a have its uh, own tag for example uh, own tag means uh, have its own uh, names names of them for example for a uh, centrifugal pump or uh, a compressor so they call it as AC-101 so for that AC-101, so what are all the inputs and outputs are there? So for example, the digital motor, we have a running feedback input and we have a controlling output. Okay, for analog, we have a control output even though we can give a speed command. So what is the speed it should run? So based on uh, uh, feedbacks, so we can uh, give a command, what is the speed it should run? Okay, feedbacks and all, running feedback also there. Even though uh, we can get what is the speed, the actual speed of the motor, we can get as a feedback for analog devices. Likewise, uh, transmitter is there, analog transmitter is there, and valves are there, and um, yeah, some digital instruments like uh, flow uh, flow switches, pressure switches, uh, yeah, this kind of uh, inputs also there. Yeah, in the bottom you can see um, sequence chart. So. Yeah, the two things are the one thing. Um, yeah, we can uh, discuss with the customer and we have to uh, narrate this sequence. Otherwise, the customer itself can uh, be able to give, okay, this is the sequence. This is the sequence I want to do the program. So, for example, here you can see, so immediately you can understand just for an idea I'm seeing. So, this is the uh, device name. So, device tag name. And here the process explained it clearly. The first step is refill and second step is prime. In refill, what are the devices should open? So here it is written as one. One means should open. Dot means it should be closed. Okay. Here you can see T. T means throttling. Throttling means it is analog output. So we have to throt throttle the device based on the flow or pressure. So this is this, this method of uh, inputs we can get to do the program. And yeah, here you can see uh, control logic chart. So in the control logic chart, not only the sequence control uh, is a part of PLC. So also safety safety measures also we have to take and care. Also we have to inform the operators if any uh, any anything anything is abnormal. For example, the flow capacity is uh, uh, under CFM, but it is going uh, more than uh, uh, the flow is uh, more than 130. CFM, then it is it may be a burst pipe may be burst. So in that case we have to give an alarm and we have to stop the motor. So so here uh, in those in details are mentioned in the control logic chart. Okay, so that is shown here. So this is the control logic chart. So this is given by customer. Otherwise we have to discuss with the customer to get these details clearly. And based on this we have to. Uh, uh, we have to do hardware selection. Hardware selection based on what? So there is a the number of devices, number of IOs. So and what is the communication method? For example, the remote devices are uh, uh, nearby five kilometers away. Then we have to go for fi fiber optic only. It is in uh, 100 meters. Then we can go for Ethernet communication. If it is only uh, within the panel or just 100 feet, 50 feet like that, then we can go with the serial communication also. It is uh, the selection based on. Uh, Availability and uh, what is the design 
and based on cost also. So those selections we have to do. So that is the part of uh, autonomous engineer uh, scope. So then we are going to proceed with the PLC HMI programming. Once we've done the programming, you have to do uh, internal testing with the simulators. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, once we completed all the things, we have to do fact, fact acceptance test. And uh, uh, fact acceptance test may be in the Hinos. Hinos means uh, wherever you are working. So that customer will uh, visit and uh, we have to show uh, what they are expecting. And site acceptance test also there. So that is, we have to go to the site before commissioning. We have to uh, prove the customer, okay, these devices are communicating this way, as you said. And um, yeah, the process is working on based on your uh, requirements that we have to uh, explain during SAT site commissioning, site acceptance test. Okay. So after that, we have to do commissioning uh, activities like we have to install. Um, yeah, we have to try to communicate with all the IOs and all the devices. So, uh, we have to check all uh, connections are in the proper way. For example, uh, the sensor you, you program in a uh, particular point, in that particular point itself, the electrical also connected to that point. Then only we can give, we can get a proper feedback. Otherwise, for example, uh, uh, running feedback is there. So, you program for uh, uh, for example, point number zero, but it is connected with point number one. Then uh, PLC will do mall function. So those connections should be proper. So before we are executing the programs or running the plant, we have to check these aspects uh, to avoid uh, any accidents. And uh, yeah, this is uh, a precaution measures we have to take care. Yeah, here in the left hand side. Yeah, you can see the sample blocks and the sample programs, the ladder diagram. So there is a many languages out there. So STL ladder and FBD. Yeah, that is IEC 6113 standards are there. And the right side, you can see the scale up HMA program. So here valves are connected as per PID. And tanks are there. And we can give uh, animation for all the devices. So if it is open, we can give green color. If it is stopped, we, we have to give red color. So if, uh, yeah, level also, we are giving the animation for that. And bubbles, so bubble means if it is aeration is there, we have to show bubble animation in that. So it's all depend on uh, customer requirement and also based on PNID and inputs, we have to uh, design and we have to uh, control as per uh, requirements. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going, uh, yeah, this is a theoretical concept. We have four types of automation system. One is fixed automation system. Fixed automation system means we can't uh, uh, change anything. It's a fixed thing. So for example, 10 kg uh, box is going to the conveyor. We can't, uh, we are not going to change anything, anything of that. Always in the lifetime, it is going for 10 kg only. We can't change anything. So there is fixed automation system. Next is programmable automation system. This is uh, minor modifications. We can adjust the timing. For example, the pump run time is 10 seconds. Uh, in future, you, you want if you want to add five seconds more, then yeah, you can do it. That is a fixed, sorry, programmable automation system. And the next is flexible automation system. It is the best example is CNC machines. So uh, the CNC machine will operate based on what object you are giving. Okay, based on that object, you have to do program. So where is the starting point? Where is the ending point? What is the shape you want? If you are drilling, what is the depth? And uh, if you are, yeah, if you are doing any any process, you have to give what is the parameter, what is the limitations. So those uh, system called as flexible automation system. And uh, yeah, in the end, integrated automation system. In the automation system, system. So not only actually, uh, still we thought we can see the uh, traffic lights and everywhere we can see only controlling and uh, based on uh, feedbacks. But apart from that, we can get a report from there. So this is very important. Uh, a report means, for example, uh, the production process is running. In the critical areas, the chemicals should be injected in this timing, in this duration, in this value. Okay, those data we can't cap, we can't monitor always, all the time by manually. So in those areas, uh, SCADA system capturing those values with a certain interval, and whenever the 
uh, operator or uh, everyone needs to see uh, everything is going or not, we can check the report. So, okay, how much uh, value it is feeded, how much time it was done, and whatever the details they want, they can see in the report. That is also done by automation system. Yeah, just to, I like to play one video. So that is a specific to drum manufacturing system. Yeah, it looks uh, very good. Just a second. I will... Um, here, uh, please note down, so uh, everything will be synchronized. For example, the first robot is handling that machine, the next robot ready to pick. The timing is very much important and uh, the access. So, so everything should be synchronized. Otherwise, uh, the first robot uh, will give the material and the second robot will not pick means it will get spoiled. So everything will be synchronized and safety and yeah, everything will be noted.
uh, yeah, uh, some of the advantages and disadvantages. So we have uh, advantages are high quality, high flexibility. Sir, uh, sir, sir, slide is not visible, sir. No, sir. Sorry. Able to see now? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, there's uh, advantages and disadvantages also there. High quality, so high flexibility, high quality. So there is no fatigue uh, as like human. So uh, uh, the machine will not get tired. And so always give uh, uh, right precision and whatever we are programming, so it will activate 24 by 7. So there is no, uh, yeah, there's no fatigue in there. So high quality, high flexibility. Yeah, whatever the operation we need, so we can program it. I in terms of accuracy. Yeah, it's uh, it's working in nano nano uh, nanometer nanometer uh, precision settings also there. High safety. Yeah, uh, there is a guard logic also there. Even in the program itself, we can do a uh, safety. Even though uh, some of the recent days, so we are getting a safety PLC also there. So redundant PLC also there. One redundancy get failed, other redundancy will take it over within the uh, microseconds. So there is no difference in the uh, process. It will not disturb the process. So safety, there is a high automated things are there. A high productivity. So yeah, in 24 by 7, so whatever the productivity we are expecting in the in an hour, yeah, that will come. That is the outcome. And disadvantage is high initial cost. Yes, of course. So once you uh, installed, the initial cost is more, even though the running cost will get reduced. So, by uh, reducing the manpower, and uh, there is a lot of uh, process we can uh, reduce uh, because of automation. Yeah, any questions? Dear students, if you have any questions, you can unmute and ask, or you can post it in the chat box. It's really a hard time <laughs> during uh, uh, lunch hour. We are uh, asking you to ask some questions. Uh, please throw some questions, or if you mail the questions also, we will forward the same to the speaker and he will reply. Sure. Um, please make it in two to three minutes, then we will wind up. Yes. Sarnan sir. Sarnan sir. That's the question. Sir, Sarnan sir. Yes sir. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Akshay Prasad asking, uh, sir, can you suggest any beginner level software for learning automation? Yeah, I suggest Alan Bradley. Uh, he's a user friendly software, and that is uh, RS Logix uh, 5000, or you can use RS Logix uh, 500. So. Yeah, that uh, helpful to understand the, the programming ladder logic. Uh, Akshay Prasad, we hope you heard the software name RS Logic from Alan Bradley. Okay. We will share you Akshay Prasad th those things in detail. Okay. Uh, sir, one more question uh, from Dr. Sundar Ganesh, sir. Uh, what are all the additional skills need to uh, be equipped to join in the automation industry for triple E students other than the curriculum sir is asking so mainly uh, for uh, automation the logical thinker, thinking is very much important 
for example if you uh, uh, yeah on our it's like a human body how it act so that is the automation process we are doing in the programming um, for example so um, yeah for example the feedback is there and we have to run the motor and based on uh, uh, some flow okay so yeah it we have to uh, think logically and we have to uh, do so it will come automatically based on experience just we initially we come to know what are the communication devices are there so is it ethernet and the mod bus protocol is there so these protocols should aware so where we have we have to we can use and which application is suitable for that for example energy meters uh, for energy meters the better way to uh, communicate is rs485 communication that is mod bus uh, protocol already designed in the energy meters so we should know about that to uh, program with the uh, energy meters to get the data. And uh, yeah, one more thing is uh, uh, SCADA and HMI. So in SCADA and HMI, we have to uh, aware so where the operator uh, attention needed. So we have to inform the uh, those logical thinking and uh, yeah, that basic uh, things. Yeah, we have to improve uh, uh, in the automation field. Sir, yeah. Sir, uh, using of automation uh, in uh, is uh, important in needed areas. Uh, how can we know that uh, wherever we can use? But uh, in some areas, uh, uh, we can uh, unable to uh, automate. We mean uh, we need manual works from uh, people. Uh, how can we know that uh, we we can hear, uh, how we can automate the uh, basic thinking of uh, automation? How can we uh, develop? Sir? Um, sir, sir, I think sir, 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 his question was uh, where we, we can use the automation, how to choose the particular area in which we, we need exactly automation. Um, human, yeah. human, human, human automation where we can differentiate in the particular in the field. Uh, yeah, people, uh, number. In the actually 95 percent of uh, automation, so industries only we can automate. So, uh, for example, so for machine is for machine run it, okay, you know, so on the machine, the one in a speed run out know, in the time, in and uh, uh, process, pan out of the lame on the automation with the program, no more, no more control, you know, the kind of feedback sensors, and I mean, I'm a fit on it, other feedback plus output on the other, you know, some electrical. Uh, support is needed like for example uh, plc on the 24 voltage on the put it up you know it will operate as a 230 voltage or 440 single phase or three phase motors are there so for that we have to connect some relay models to uh, do that so yeah wherever we can do automate uh, sir one more question in the chat uh, from saumia ravi we are doing final year projects using if if we are using uh, PLCs in our final year project, could we suggest any idea for using the PLC? What yes, kind of student sir. level project they can choose, she is asking, sir. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, in PLC, there is a, for student, uh, yeah, there is a lot of sensor there, so temperature sensor there, so we can set the room temperature and the gas uh, smoke detector was there. For example, in the home, uh, uh, we can monitor the uh, LPG, LPG. So if it is there, we can send SMS to the mobile. Okay. So we can measure uh, some of the factors, and we can uh, we have to do programming based on that, and we have to give output to the uh, via SMS or uh, some LED indication or buzzer. So like this, yeah, we can automate. Sir, sir, Uh, so, <laughs> a difficult question. Uh, automation uh, for non-living thing, uh, we, uh, that was success. But what is your opinion about the automation of living things? So Vijayanand wants some uh, human aid uh, tools. Uh, am I correct, Vijayanand? To write your record work, am I correct, Vijayanand? Yes, sir. Uh, record work, is it possible to have a PLC? He's asking.
Actually, nowadays, uh, I think for two purposes, automation is very helpful. So nowadays, uh, we are not believing living things. For example, operators nine hours they are doing duty means. So the production is, for example, uh, uh, thousand motors. So he can't able to do. If he able to do also, he can't ready to do. But if you are automating, automation. If you are doing automation, right? If it is per hour, uh, five hundred motors means that is constant. That never changed. Sir, nowadays uh, uh, medical based automations are uh, developing. Sir, how about that, sir? If it becomes success or not, sir? Because uh, most people are not trusted on that. How uh, it will make uh, yeah, yeah. Then, sir. next generation? Sir, sir, say again. Then you want to break it. Sir, he is asking a medical automation, the surgical tools like that. Is it oh. a successful one or not? He is asking. Um, So yeah, I'm suggesting it is not all the time. So still, uh, uh, it is doing manually. But uh, all the factors uh, automated. For example, uh, ECG, like everything is uh, captured by the sensors. So based on that, uh, operated by the uh, doctors. So manually only. But the equipments are getting automated nowadays. Uh, previously, we have to uh, do surgery. Nowadays, that uh, uh, we can. Uh, Just inject uh, some uh, equipment, and we can monitor, and we can do it by camera, by uh, watching the camera, and uh, by watching the automated uh, machineries. So it it is reduced, but still it is doing it manually. But the success rate is improved because of automation. Yes, sir. Thank thank you, sir. No, sir. Uh, last question. It may be last question from my side. Um, If our students are uh, eager to do some PLC projects, uh, is it possible to approach the industries in Coimbatore uh, to do the give their ideas, or by sitting with them if they are giving some problem statement, is it possible to done by our students by sitting in this in our campus, sir? Is, is it any opportunities are like available? Okay. Uh, sir, you are asking about uh, uh, suggesting some industries or uh, no, 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 no. Student projects join hands with the industries. Like that, is there, is there is any uh, opportunities are available in Coimbatore? Mm, no, it is uh, done by well uh, experienced. At least two to three years experience needed to do the automation uh, for the industries. Uh, Yeah, I think no companies are approaching from uh, students as of now. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Uh, Divya Priya, so we are. Thank you, sir, for your valuable inputs regarding industrial automation. We learn a lot from your input, sir. Dear students, sorry for the technical glitch, and thank you for your patience. Now I invite our coordinator of Center for Learning, Dr. Shiva Subramaniam, sir, to deliver the oath of thanks. Thank you. Um, at this point of time, uh, we from the Center for Higher Learning and from the Department of uh, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, and on behalf of the campus of Kalpan College of Engineering, we thank the speaker of the day, uh, Mr. Sarav Master. Uh, from Best Global Engineering and Software Technology for having us accepting our invitation and uh, uh, carrying on this complete session. And we are uh, as a technical glitch, we thought it might be possible, but we quickly uh, made a short comeback and uh, made the session complete. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Uh, hope to collaborate with you in the near future with our students and faculty members. Um, at this point of time, let me also put on record a uh, sincere thanks to the uh, principal of Kalpan College of Engineering, Dr. Vijay Kumar Sir, uh, for giving us the permission to go ahead with such programs and motivating the faculty and the students uh, for the technology transfer. We would like to place on record the thanks to our uh, chief executive officer, uh, Shri K. Murugaya Sir, and our uh, managing trustee, Mr. Uh, Kumar Sir. For uh, having given us the permissions to proceed on to such an important lecture, uh, the special thanks goes to our uh, uh, director, Katie. Uh, 
Professor R. S. Karasman himself. For me, the owner of this Thomas uh, Alva Edison Memory Election. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks to the Department of uh, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, the team of faculty members and the students uh, for having accepting uh, Central Park Iron Winning as well to be associated with this lecture. Thank you all. Thanks to the students and uh, I hope to see you on the next Memory Lectures, which is planned on uh, February 28th on our end of National Science Day. Thank you so much. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarna Kumar, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for all your presence. And uh, yeah, if any doubt or any clarifications needed, please uh, connect at any time. So I think Ajayendra will have my details. Thank you. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. I will share. Thanks. Sir. Thank you, sir. Um, students, we will share the feedback form. Uh, please fill the feedback form. Now you can wind up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir.